Oh, a very happy little chappy here it is very nearly done. Um, I've done some more to the eye. I'm pretty much happy with the eye. I just want to add in a bit of black. Um, and now I'm just going to go through probably with a paintbrush and just add some more details into some of the creases on the skin. But we're pretty much there now. Kind of happy with how he looks. He looks nice and cheerful, so that's good. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is... Now I've got to find my paint in amongst my mess, which is always good. If you're painting and you're not getting mess everywhere, well, I don't know anyone that can do that. Maybe there is someone. But sure as fridge isn't me. Okay, so I've got some nice generic Michaels fancy paint brushes. And all I'm using to clean that out, funny enough, is airbrush reducer. So all I'm looking to do at this point is I just want to make that black pop a little bit, if you like, just on the uh, the main part of the center of the eye there. Uh, nothing too crazy. This is where a steady hand can come in really helpful if you've got one of those. This is just the product of me airbrushing around the eye. It makes the um, the black cloud over slightly. It's just about sharpening up the middle of that eye slightly.
Okay, and we're back. So now it's all clear coated and done, and you can get an idea of what it looks like. So, yeah, doesn't look too bad, I don't think. It's kind of a cool look to him. So, yeah, well, I shall call that one done. The customer knows it's ready, so he'll be picking it up at some point in the next day or two once the clear coat's hardened up. And yeah, on to the next project. So, yeah, follow along subscribe like comment yada 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 um and yeah next we're going on to some three foot tall gargoyles that i'm painting so that'll be fun and i'll see you on the next one